Hello friends, my name is Fahad. I am a student of Wellingar College. Uh, first I will say something about myself. Uh, I am working currently in Big Bazaar. It is a giant uh, retail company and it is having a uh, multi-format means like food, fashion, uh, general merchandise, etc. So uh, the complete point of view of uh, uh, today's uh, slide of uh, her role of IT in her uh, retailing is only of to explain how it plays a very important role in the complete management of the retail sector. My experience working in Big Bazaar is of only four years. But in these four years, I have gained much experience of how information technology helps, works better and help to improve the retail sector in a good and a very positive way. We will start with our discussion on the subject, role of information technology in the retail sector. The importance of information technology in the retail sector. So what are the importance? First important point is that with the fast, with the fast increasing her globalization in today's her retail sector, where uh, the point of sale as well as the point of supply is very complex in today's situation where each and every customer wants uh, his uh, feedback to be answered first. In such a case, information uh, technology plays a very important role to move out all the complex operations of the information uh, technology in uh, retail sector. We will see it with, within our first point as well as the second point. The first point is with the increasing a globalization of a retailing both in terms of their points of sale and their points of supply the information technology IT spends in the retail sector has increased significantly it plays an increasing important role in the management of complex retail operations yes as I said before that today the point of sale has increased a lot People are coming in the stores for a huge benefits, discounts, sales, offers, free gifts, etc. To, to comply with all such situations and to fulfill all the requirements of the customer, information technology plays a very important scope. It means it is completely intermediary between the customer and the sale. For example, a customer purchases a particular product, uh, he sees its price tag and then it goes at the pause machine. Yes, pause machine, the full form is point of sale, where the cashier sits, where he scans the barcodes and then dictates the price to the customer and then the customer pays the amount and then leaves the store with a bill. Exactly. So, so the point of sale, pause machine, is nothing but a development of the information technology in retail. A pause machine is similar to a computer, but not exactly a computer. It's not exactly a typewriter also. It's just only a similar barcoded machine with all the information already feeded in it. Second point, market information as well as control of uh, data and information is the key to obtaining a competitive advantage in the retail sector. Marketers are continuing to grow and become more complex. The simple process of retailing has started to deploy more advanced retail information systems to cope with all the transactions involved. So what the first sentence says, markets her data control is very important because it is a key factor in in obtaining 
all the factors influencing the sale because in market there are many companies like uh, big bazaar shoe mart uh, d mart etc etc who are uh, dictating their own terms and their own price to sell to the customers so in order to survive in such a competitive market information uh, technology plays a very important role to achieve all these points at their successful individual supply rates and supply points we'll go on the second slide it involvement in retail the first point is to increase the company's ability to respond to the evolving marketplace through enhanced speed and flexibility yes exactly it offers speed and flexibility the more advanced machine it incurs in the sector of retailing the more supply increases the more growth increases because of flexibility because a customer is uh, is always in a hurry uh, he wants to purchase a product uh, he want to make the bill first he want everything to be answered first so for that pace and speed is required which is completely uh, which cannot be uh, which uh, which cannot be avoidable at any cost so in this way it plays surely a very important role in increasing the speed of the point of supply the pause machine as well as all the factors related to it which can improve a sale secondly to collect and and analyze customer data while enhancing differentiation to work effectively retailers need one system working across stores or even across national borders to make sure the the most effective use of stock and improve business processes this include the supply chain management supply chain management is a intermediary between the consumer and the supplier when a particular stores warehouse or a supply chain team is strong so automatically the floor staff the operations become smooth means for example to for example to say a supplier called a cadbury a cadbury is giving a small margin to any stores because of its because of its name and fame in the market so compared to it if some if some if some another supplier in chocolates will come it will give more margin because it is because it is having less fame in the market so to make the customer choice make available at the store we need to contact the suppliers for that we need to provide all the information required for example po the purchase order the invoice etc 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 so when you when you provide all the detail to, to the suppliers the supplier will be in a position to supply how much stock to a particular store means means it uh, it actually uh, relates with the uh, demand and supply the supplier will automatically come to know that in particular store uh, their product is selling at you know, what price and what quantity every day how many bills have been made and from that bills how many are cadbury and how many are some other brands so in this way the supplier will be in a comfortable position to supply the quantity of stock required for that particular store at that particular point of time so in this way so how will it happen forthcomingly information technology plays again one a uh, same similar role in this the po the purchase order made by the company is automatically shown at the supplier's end because the systems are completely interrelated because the supplier and the seller are also interrelated because it is the intermediary between the customer so they have to be interrelated so in this way it plays a very important role for 
the retailers also to work effectively on one system across the stores across across all the stores suppose in our city in mumbai there are for example 21 her big bazaar stores and 21 her big bazaar store is having uh, five to six uh, suppliers so all the suppliers who, who will have the same contact and will have the same purchase order which is made at the big bazaar uh, the big bazaar of vikroli head office so whatever the purchase order amount whatever the purchase order quantity is made as the head office is automatically displayed at 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 all the suppliers offices also retailers are beginning to notice that technology's role in one of an enabler essentially information technology can speed up processes and deliver cost saving benefits to the company exactly now what are the challenges first customer information many retailers struggle with information overload because they are required to collect and shift through mass amounts of information then convert it into useful information in a customer centric industry now the problem in retail sector is the customer footfall today suppose there are 1000 entry of the customer in our store second day we don't know how much customers will enter because it completely depends on the weekly half or the public holidays because during working hours for example in a big bazaar there is a fashion friday or for food bazaar there is only in a wednesdays and if a saturday sunday comes customer gets a weekly off so in this way friday wednesday saturday and sunday we can expect a good footfall to come but on but on mondays tuesdays thursdays which is the working hours we cannot expect a good footfall to come footfall means customer entry how many customer comes in a particular store and how many bills have been made what is the uh, ticket size of that store example uh, 1000 customer uh, came in a particular store the the store started in the morning 11 o'clock and closed at 10 o'clock so in that in that 11 hours how many customers came suppose suppose uh, 1000 customers came so from that you know 1000 customers if 750 uh, bill bills are made so 75% is the conversion rate exactly but if you consider mondays or or tuesdays compared to sunday on sunday 1000 customers came but on monday if only 400 customer came and out of it only uh, 200 is been you know, made so the completely ticket size of a particular store on that particular day becomes 50% but it uh, but finally it uh, relates with the customer also because sunday it was a holiday for schools and colleges offices so customer entry was 1000 but but on monday was a working day school colleges offices were all were all open so only 400 customers came so the problem in this sector is how to increase the customer entry we do not know what are the customers requirement we are just showing we are just uh, displaying what we have but but you know what we have is currently complying with the customers needs or wants we don't know so we have to do a survey for it we have to go to societies we have to go uh, uh, we have to create a particular particular uh, event at some place at some station or at some uh, society and all where we can capture the attention of the customer where we can explain our product where we can explain what all the benefits and what all the what all the advantages we are uh, we are offering to the customer which can help benefit the customer in a very good way 
so all these factors are very important for us to know means what and how the customer can have a benefit with with all the offers and with all the free gifts and with all uh, the everything which we are uh, providing to the customer so all these we don't know and all these comes in the challenges so first point was many retailers struggle with the information because uh, they are required to collect and shift through mass amounts of information and then convert it into useful information in a customer centric industry so for a retailer to increase his sale they should do market survey they should do a census and then which can help them uh, gather information of the customer requirements needs and then they should keep only those products at their stores which can help the customer purchase and which can also indirectly help the store to increase their sale second point transparency and tracking retailers must increase transparency between system as well as obtain better tracking to integrate systems from manufacturer to the consumer while obtaining customer and sales information the second the second point clearly states the, uh, the second point clearly states that retailers must increase the transparency between systems customer should come to know what are the price they are being billed for a particular product sometimes what happens uh, the post systems are not completely updated it has been showing the uh, previous month's uh, price or the previous uh, or the previous free gifts uh, prices so in this case it can mislead the customer for example customer has come how uh, two weeks ago in a store and and uh, and that particular product was was only 40% how uh, two weeks ago but but uh, two weeks uh, later uh, that particular product is coming in 50% but if the price has not been updated means from 40% it has not been updated to 50% and the customer comes at the pause machine to to party uh, for particular products her uh, billing and if only 40% comes so the customer can become very much very much irritated with our service that two weeks Two weeks ago, it was forty percent, and currently it should be fifty percent. But it is, uh, it is once again coming forty percent. So it should not be the billing error. So we have to update our system to maintain a clear uh, transparency with the customer. Secondly, we should also track the integrative systems from manufacturer to the consumer while obtaining customer. and sales information the manufacturer and the supplier which we her deal with we should also keep a good contact with them we should also know what all the free or uh, means you know what all the free uh, products they are supplying for the customer for example there is a uh, tata tea gold with that there is a cup free so we should contact the uh, so we should contact the manufacturer and uh, if we are purchasing from the uh, from the uh, manufacturer 50 pieces of 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 uh, tata tea gold so we should also get 50 pieces of that free product it is called in terms of her retailing as the mother product as well as the kit product the actual product is called the mother product and the free product is called the kit product so we should also inform the manufacturer to provide us with the kit product as soon as possible until and unless the manufacturer uh, provides us with the key product we cannot we cannot put the mother product on the floor or to highlight it otherwise if the customer purchases it and if the customer uh, does not get a free product so the customer will become angry secondly her global her data synchronization due to her radio frequency identification electronic product electronic product coding the entire supply chain has become more intelligent retailers must enable the use of real time 
her data to watch inventory levels. In addition, radio frequency identification positions the company to be able to safeguard its shipments by allowing products to be tracked from manufacturer through the entire supply chain. So what does this mean? With the introduction of radio frequency identification which is nothing but a soft tag in her retailing there are three uh, there are three kinds of uh, uh, tagging standards one is hard tag one is soft tag and one is string tag hard tags are used in in clothes means like shirts pants uh, pajamas etc Soft tags are used in those products which cannot be hard tagged. For example, food products. Because in hard tag, there is a pin which we have to which we have to pierce inside the product, and then we have to uh, put that uh, put that pin with a magnetic strip, which can somehow uh, harm the product. For example, if there is a cloth. If there is a shirt, shirt cannot be harmed because shirt is also having a washable barcode inside it. So if we put the if we put the hard tag on the washable and a barcode inside it, so there is no harm for the particular shirt. But if we similarly put the uh, if we put the barcode, the hard tag on the food product. For example, is there is a food product called uh, picnic chips. Okay, so in that, if we put inside uh, the plastic, so it can harm the product because it will create a space inside it which will allow, which will allow the moisture to get inside it and which may harm the product. The product can get damaged also. So, so in this way. Uh, radio frequency identification which is a soft tag has been introduced it is nothing but a uh, it is nothing but an electromagnetic chip with a special paste inside it is not a uh, fevicol or it's not uh, anything uh, uh, paste means it's something like a bond so we put that soft tag which is also called a a radio frequency identification on that particular product which is made of only a paper and behind it is completely magnetic strip I will surely show you in the further slides means how it exactly looks so it is a soft tag which helps you to safeguard your particular product for example if a customer comes in your store and he purchases a picnic chips and suppose he forgets to make the bill and and if the her radio frequency identification which is also called a soft tag is not sticked on it so he just moves out of the store which which automatically makes it a shrinkage means the customer has taken the product but the customer has not made the bill and the customer has taken the product out of the store freely so if that particular product is of only uh, 20 rupees so 20 rupees is stores her uh, loss so what happens in so what happens in such cases so if we stick the soft tag which is also called as her radio frequency identification so what happens when the customer uh, picks it from the her rack and her goes at the point of sale and suppose if the customer forgets to make the bill and when the customer goes out of the store so it you know, buzzes there is a system at the exit points of all the stores where the hard tag and the soft tag and the string tag it it completely you know, buzzes it makes a ping kind of sound so it automatically comes uh, comes in the understanding of the security supervisor or or any particular security at that particular exit point means here is a product which the customer hasn't built because if a customer uh, builds a product 
so, so the her packers her behind her the cashiers her remove the soft tag as well as the hard tag yes exactly after purchasing of a particular product the packers behind the cashiers her remove the soft tag as well as the hard tag so that when the customer exits it doesn't have a buzzes so it helps the retailers to move in a very smart way with the introduction of the radio frequency identification the retailers have become very intelligent the retailers has stopped her thinking about the product at any uh, particular customer will come and that customer will uh, purchase it and the customer if he doesn't hena makes the bill so he can hena go uh, go out it will not happen in this way what will happen if the customer has failed to make the bill and if the customer moves out so he will be caught and a case will happen the customer will have to pay four times or or hena five times of that particular product and then lpc case will be hena made on him and that particular customer will not come to that store hena once again yes exactly so all these things helps the particular retailers to forget about the safety of the product because the radio frequency identification as well as the hard tags and string tags are completely present over there to save a particular product from getting stealed definition of pause point of sale the physical location of a transaction but usually refers to any device or system used to record the transaction for the retailer yes has we previously had discussed if a uh, if a particular customer purchases a particular product so he goes at the pause machine so what is the full form of that pause the full form is point of sale it is a particular machine similar to the computer but not exactly computer its keyboard is also similar to of uh, the computer keyboard but not exactly of computer because uh, because the computer is having the alpha numeric keys uh, but this but this in a pause machine is having a system updated uh, keywords means any particular button is pressed so a particular how program is been is been uh, opened and that particular how transaction is been carried out second is c pause a computer based pause which employs software to implement the pause functionality suppose if the pause program has been failed okay a customer has came to purchase a product and he and a customer wants to make a bill but the pause has been failed the pause is not is not how taking out the bill the pause is not scanning it nothing happens so what's happened in such cases uh, that a c pause has been introduced in c pause what happens that the pause machine's wire is been attached with a computer and the computer is having a particular program uh, related with the pause and the same transaction is been is been uh, made on a computer but the uh, program of that point of sale of the pause machine is working on a computer exactly now what are the benefits of pause there are many benefits of pause com- compared to compared to old cash uh, register system one is the control of the inventory yes because the pause machine is completely related with the information technology the information technology has made pause machine so advanced at what all the inventory are present in a particular store is been recorded in the pause machine and we can we can hena get everything in hand suppose if a supplier has sent us 200 pieces of a, of a particular a product and 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 uh, of that particular product in a particular week 60 pieces have been sold so the balance we have in a 140 products are completely shown in the pause but if we compare it with the cash uh, register it is completely manual nothing uh, 
means uh, it nothing should be um, compared with the information technology because it is completely a book and we have to maintain it with a pen and with a pen and a paper exactly means like uh, if a customer purchases a product and that customer has made a bill so that her bill uh, should be you know, maintained in a cash her register we have to see at the bill and then or we have to maintain it but if there is a pause machine with a scanner so we can so we can immediately scan the pause bill and then automatically whatever the transactions has been made in the bill is been uh, reflected in the pause so so comparatively compared to pause machine the uh, the cash register has been outdated secondly yes uh, receiving invoicing has been made in pause a uh, cash register is not possible interfacing with accounting yes it has been also made in pause but cash register is not possible reports we can create her uh, reports we can re we can uh, create the inventory and the report as well as the sale report we can uh, we can also copy paste in the excel file and we should uh, put inside it a uh, vlookup formula and then we can compare so means this was the inventory uh, these are the sale what are the balance what is the you know, balance amount we can also take out the selling price average average selling price means dot means the her total amount of sale her divide by a total amount of quantity provides you with the selling price average so all these can be made in pause but not possible in cash register enforced accuracy obviously everything uh, will be in uh, black and white in the pause system so everything uh, will have a complete complete uh, accuracy compared to the uh, manual integrated cc handling now cc handling is having a limited scope in cash register because uh, cc means a uh, uh, credit card for a for for uh, for a credit card it is very important for us uh, suppose if a customer is becoming a big bazaar uh, member so that particular customer uh, we will uh, we will take uh, that particular customer a credit card embossing we will take the card expiry we will take the card cvv number we will take the card 16 uh, digits uh, number as well as uh, the name uh, printed on it so it is having a limited scope with the uh, cash register means means actually means actually along with the pause the cash register is also equally important but 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 you know, what but what you know, more important is the pause register because it is completely electronic and uh, completely safe second thing uh, general uh, ledger yes it is also having a great scope in pause compared to uh, cash cash uh, register accounts payable accounts uh, receivable preferred by her tax consultants it's everything is made customized in the pause compared to cash register